the period of time in the frame of which an obelisk was cut is only known to us through the text inscribed on one of the two obelisks of Queen Hatshepsut erected in Karnak temple. It states that the operation of cutting the two obelisks, each 30 meters high, took seven months. Some researchers think that each obelisk might take more than eight months regarding the size of the obelisk and the nature of its stone and the number of workers involved and the working hours. An important question poses itself though, did the final leveling of the obelisk surfaces and the relief of the scenes and texts took place in the quarry or that happened in the location of its erection? It's clear that the polishing of the size of the obelisk happened when it was still in the quarry, except for the bottom part, which was used in moving it, so that the stone man can deal with its transportation. The final leveling was made after the obelisk was transported to its destination. As for the scenes and the accompanying texts, they seem to be done while the obelisk was still in the quarry for an unfinished obelisk of King Seti I was found in the quarry of Samain mountain on the west bank of Aswan. Nevertheless, the scenes and the texts were relieved on the three sides of the pyramidion on the top. On the other hand, others see that the obelisk was transported from its quarry as a block of stone. The damages done during its transportation and erection would be rectified then. After that, inscription and reliefs of hieroglyphic texts started. In all cases, it's a remarkable creation, especially when we remember that it's one single piece of pink granite and how it was cut, transported and erected, and most of all, how some of these obelisks still stand in glory facing all the nature and human impacts.